a lot. I, I'd argue to most filmmakers, um, they just don't understand what a long road this is. They Oof. they don't. I didn't. I didn't either. Like I thought I was like, shoot, I should be at the Oscars like next year. I'm like, I'm golden. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like what's like I I give myself I start prepping my speech. Baby. <laughs> I mean, I got five years solid to get to the yeah. Oscars. I mean, that's just come on. So Easy. there's a, there's yeah. a level of delusion, which I think you have to be delusional in the general sense to be in this business because it's yeah. not it's it's not a solid logical path to walk. Um, so you've got to be a little bit crazy, but the egos that are involved in our industry, um, we've all had them. Uh, I still have mine, but it's tamed. It age tames it a bit. Sometimes depends on the person, <laughs> I guess. I just been beaten up so much. I'd be like, yeah, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so much rejection. It's so much rejection. Like, yeah, I always say I've taken shrapnel for like, you know, 25 years in this business. I've right. just been taking shrapnel. I got it in my... In I my, walk slower these days. I walk slower. I got a limp and my knee hurts when it rains. But that's... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of how it is in this business. But they don't realize yeah. that this is absolutely a marathon and not this sprint, yeah. that this sprint that they think it's going to have. And that's what Hollywood sells. So yeah. Hollywood sells the golden ticket idea. Because it's a great story. The Robert Rodriguez yeah. story is fantastic. The Tarantino yeah. story, the Spike Lee story, the John Singleton story, all these stories um, that we kind of grew up with, paranormal activity, all these kind of stories, they're, they're magical. Yeah. They're mythical. In a sense, um, but that's not they're outliers. They happen, you totally. know, once in a gen. I'm, I'm still talking about all the like four of the five of those guys. All, all of those guys came up in the 90s. Four out of five of those guys were in the early 90s, and yeah. we're we're in like 2020 as of this recording. So, like, it shows you how many of these stories lights out. That's one of those stories, but that's also you know it's a outlier. It's it's a thing and. I don't think they understand the you got to go in every day and just do the work every day. Yeah. Show and up. I mean, even even David's story, it just appears to be that. And that, that's what I wanted to. That's what I love about film. Right. That hopefully it will. You know, if fingers crossed, I can get to that feature that it'll you know, it's right there to watch from. 2009 to whenever the feature happens of how long it took. Whereas like, you know, David, I know, I know David and I know how much work he put in before time. I, you know, all the short films he did all the time he put in figuring out how to craft these ideas, how to connect with an audience, you know, how to direct a scene, you know, what coverage he needs to accomplish the thing that he wants. So it wasn't this thing where he made a short and it got noticed and, you know, it's because all the work he put in trying thing after thing and putting thing after thing up and you know, this competition, that competition until finally the right person saw the right thing when he was in the, at the right time in his, you know, path <clears throat> to then move to, you know, that point. And, um, a lot of people I know it, it, that, that's, what's really great about where we're at now is like, it is possible for you to put something up. Uh, another, another friend of mine just finished his, writing and directing his first feature starring Idris Elba. He did a short film called the cage in 2017 incredible film just awesome great mm -hmm. great 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 short but it only has like 60,000 views that's it but that got passed around to the right people because it was just great work and that got this person attached that person attached this this producer wanted to talk to him and he was ready for it and said here's the other stuff that I have that I want to do because he's been putting in so much work behind the scenes preparing other things that he could be like when you know I love your short what else you got oh I got this because I've been putting in the work nonstop behind the scenes with no congratulations because it's thankless work to do because nobody even knows it exists um, but he was ready for it when the opportunity came knocking and that you know turned into making his first feature with freaking Idris Elba mm -hmm. you know uh, and and you know I have a similar story to what's going on now you know it's like again it's more outward it's more open even our failures have been very open mm -hmm. um, we, did a, <clears throat> we were gonna have like it was like a, gonna be a three hundred thousand dollar short film and it just all fell apart last minute and that was very a uh, very much an open failure and uh, but that turned into one of my favorite short films I've made proximity. So that, you know, great. Sure. That's where it went. Um, and uh, so all, all of the, the path for what I've done is is very, very much open. But there's a lot behind the scenes that I just don't talk about that I'm constantly working on on top of the stuff that I've seen. And it's that stuff that 
kind of just um, it's the ammo that if you ever have the chance, like ballistic opened up some chances. So when people came calling, I could be like, well, here's the other stuff I have. Here are the other ideas I have. And then, I mean, the inter- interesting story about that is, um, you know, it's all stuff that's going on now. So it's not stuff that I can talk about in detail, but it's like ballistic led to getting managers some producers being interested. And then that led to, um, developing a feature, but I'm a first time director with an original action sci-fi property. That would be a very large budget. So, you know, good and well it's how a rough, possible that is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, mm, yeah. So that's where we landed and we're like, yeah, we got a producer attached. That was a very exciting producer. And he was the one that was like, I really love this, but, out like a script i don't know i don't see the path for this and then so i was able to be like well here's another one and this is a sub 10 thing and it's you know it's horror and and that's there comes a knocking which i made a short out of so then i wrote the feature with that because i already had this like 70 page scriptman already written because i had just been putting in the work behind the scenes assuming these were you know you always got to have that ammo <clears throat> And they all really responded to that. And so we developed that a little further and then decided that a short film would be the right way to go before sending out the script. And so we did that. So we were able to couple the short film with the script. And now you're talking like a year and a half oh. since, you know, it started since ballistic. So now they went from ballistic to this. And now we're a year into this. And I still have, you know, it's still thankless. But now, okay, at least I get to make this short film. So I, I do that. And then, and then finally we send it out and it's just silence for months. But then all of a sudden meetings start to pop up. But now maybe it's not going to be this thing. Maybe it could be this other thing because then you're in these meetings and you're talking. And then even if they don't like the current project they're doing, they like you. And then they say, well, what else you got? You know, and if you just Uh put all your eggs in just one basket and you're not constantly like your hat says, hustle, hustle, (laughs) hustle, baby, constantly putting in the work behind the scenes that nobody knows about except your closest friends and collaborators. Um, you know, my answer would be like, oh, well, I have some ideas, but instead my answer is <laughs> I have, uh, these other pitches completely done and I have pitched docs. And if you're interested, I'll send it to you. I could pitch it right now if you want in there. Well, let me, that, that one sounds interesting. Let me hear it. Okay. Well, let me tell you about it. And then boom, you can, cause you've already, you've already put in the time pitching this idea to friends just in case the right person asks you. And then that opportunity presents itself and then you can deliver it. So it's just, you know, it's all that stuff I think is what leads to success. And they're not, you know, it's not my original ideas. This is just going off the backs of the smart people who, you know, I've been lucky enough to pick their brains for the past, you know, six years. And just right. I took their good counsel and, you know, followed those things. 